can always count on your favorite news anchor to give you the latest buzz, but this anchor gets more buzz than she counted on. Good morning, Oklahoma. The food situation in Russia is bad. Leader Boris Yeltsin is asking the U.S. for $600 million more in credit so his country can buy U.S. grain. Is there a way, American? <laughs> Where? Is it still there? <laughs> no, don't. Ooh. Get it? <laughs> Is it out? Yeah, it's out. This is a yellow jacket. It's a wasp. Oh, there it is on my purse. There it is, right there. There. She's dead. <laughs> the railroads help build the North. Now, this reporter has gone to great lengths to check that there's no train coming behind him. Pushing north through Marysville, Chico, and Redding, linking California with the Pacific Northwest. Sometimes it's more entertaining to watch the reporter who uh, isn't talking. Keep your eye on the anchor on your right. Up next, News 18 sports teams have been covering the wiregrass tonight, bringing back highlights from the area's top high school matchups. In a moment, it's Friday Night Football with Fred Beck. To the east, and we are going to see a little bit more precipitation later on today. <laughs> Hello there. Here's a different kind of news leak. Take a leak, a, a leak, a peak. <laughs> Outside, 29 degrees in the Rapid City. There's nothing wrong, what I said, or just a little slip of the top. That's right, you're right. Isn't that much. Now yeah. the forecast is over, you know what you're going to do? <laughs> you know, there's... There's a certain time to have personal conversations in the newsroom, but uh, not when you're on the air. Why didn't you tell me that you were dating Jamie? Uh, I <laughs> don't plan on doing that. <laughs> well, wow, that's when cues come in handy, right about that. then. Well, let's talk about football. Florida and <laughs> For a while there, it looked like they were going to just take the game away until they did. <laughs> Turning point. I'm going to talk a little football right now. Yeah. <laughs> the topics of self-care, stress management, caregiver guilt, nutrition, and elder care. He's out of copy. <laughs> you know, news anchors have a lot to think about during their newscasts, so uh, it's easy to see why something like this could happen. The brief uh, twister or wind gust uh, which hit the area this afternoon also sent a tree right down the middle of a Springfield woman's home. Linda Russell was just feet from where the 40-foot fur crashed through her kitchen, severing her house in the Gateway area. Fortunately, no one was injured, although she's not sure where her cat disappeared to. She says the wind only lasted a few seconds. Well, the brief twister or wind gust also sent a tree right down the middle of a Springfield woman's home. Linda Russell was just feet from where the 40-foot fur crashed through her kitchen, severing her house in the gateway area. Fortunately, no one was injured, although she's not sure where her cat disappeared to. We've heard this before, haven't we? I'm sure I've heard this cat like this before. It sounds familiar to me. Okay, well... Judy Unruh report. Judy Unruh report. Not many cars were moving. But mooing could be heard on the Capitol Beltway around Washington, D.C. early this morning. A tractor trailer transporting Black and Gus, there's Black or Gus, was stopped on the side of the Beltway while the driver changed the flat tire. Officials say no people and no cows were injured. I wonder if those cows named Black and Gus were actually Black Angus cows, perhaps. Black and <laughs> Gus. <laughs> yeah. It's just a possibility that I thought we'd explore. Are you thinking explore. I misinterpreted yeah. something? No, no, no. I came from the government. That was a government source, wasn't it? That's what he black. Black Angus. <laughs> Uh, yeah, about our cow naming uh, impairments uh, at this point. Of course, the ice film a week ago, and there's our first and call. Here's our first call. All right. Good morning. You're on Newswatch 50. Good morning. You're on Newswatch 50. Good morning. You're on Newswatch 50. We get those calls, and we can't seem to get them through. 
Bear with us here for just a moment. We'll Good see morning, you're on News Like 50. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, you're on News Watch 50. <laughs> we're gonna see what happens. If we can get it, we're gonna get it. One of the things that I'm concerned about is that, uh... There we go. Good morning, News Watch 50. See if there's like a little switch in the back. Coming through. <laughs> we are doing what we yeah, can here this morning <laughs> to, to get those calls through. Well, it is not a way to answer this phone. That's a liquid sunshine. I mean, rather, uh, the, uh, the other type. Don't call me during the weather. I thought most of the time we cope with it, but there was always that threat that, uh, you know, uh, basically we, we, um, shouldn't allow them to concede. And there's my wife on the phone probably to congratulate us. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <I>, Deb. <laughs> D Dad, give us two minutes. I'm just on the time. <laughs> Turkey. A year later, she's conquered her fears. They're big and nothing on them is blunt. Everything is sharp and they are ugly. Yes, you are, but nonetheless, every Christmas and Thanksgiving too, there's, you're going to be on my table next Christmas. There's one on everybody's table, but coming up next, another main course. You look. Ah! Another show! Calling for help again. 